Hi, and welcome to another episode of Tom Ray's Art Podcast. I'm Tom. On today's show, I meet a person who lives in Jamaica. He is an animator, and also, he contacted me. I've been posting my animation for a series called Xylus and Dexter in Space on Instagram. And one time when I posted it, I got a message right away saying that they liked my stuff, and uh, this is what they do if I wanted to check it out. And I went and checked it out. And it's very, it, it's interesting. There, it's a new form of not a new form. It's new to me. A new to me form of animation called story time animation. And we talk more about that, about what inspired him to get into story time animation. Which is all of this is very interesting. The more I spoke to him, the more it's one of those things where it's like the way that it's being done is even more amazing than the outcome. Uh, he. He his friends recorded a, a, a thing that he said. I don't want to give the whole story away. I want him to tell you. But basically, he does everything on his phone, which is something I've always tried to do. I've done it in the past, but not to the extent that this person has. So it's a great conversation. Uh, I'm really happy that the person reached out to me. So here is my uh, podcast starting right now. I am Craig Hutchinson. I'm a YouTube animator. I started it earlier this year. I'm overall a creative, but I'm focusing on the YouTube animation. Yeah, and I only know, well, first of all, where are you located right now? Okay, so I live in Jamaica. I'm, I'm from the West. I live in Falmouth. Okay. I've never been there, so I have no idea where any of that is. <laughs> okay, yeah, so that's, I'm, I'm from a different part of the country from where I live, but... Oh, really? Yeah. Where? Okay, so I, I'm from the south, but now I live in the northwest. Okay. What, yes, how did? How and why did you move? Um, my, my mo- um, I moved here with my mother um, when I was in... When I was about five or six. Okay. Yeah, so we're we're all from the south but she moved here um for a teaching job she, she's a teacher oh what does and she teach we, oh she teaches primary school um the, the sixth grade level so she teaches um all all the the subjects okay for that class yes and you've already you've already graduated high school right because a lot of your a lot of your cartoons are about when you were in high school yes um i graduate i graduated this year um i'm i'm finishing up my first sem- semester in college right now. Okay. What are you going to college for? Okay. So I'm studying, I'm studying biology at the moment. I just started. Are you really? Studying. Yes, sir. No kidding. What? Okay. So tell me about biology. Like why, why did you decide to go into biology? That's interesting. Well, um, it's a, uh, I'm the type of person that, that has um, like varying interests because what um, people would think that I'm, I'm studying like art, uh, going to art school, but, Biology is one of my other interests, so okay. I I think it's easier to study biology in school and and work on and work on um the arts personally than it is to study art in school and work on biology personally. So. <laughs> That's actually a really valid point. You're not going to go home and like do a side hustle of biology. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Microscopes are very expensive. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I've never thought of it that way, but that's super true. <laughs> Sorry, that, that made me laugh for some reason. Um, so, what what kind of field in biology are you interested in? Okay, so I'm I'm very interested in um like the animal side of things, so like zoology. Yeah, okay. I'm very interested in that thing. Um, as like many young kids, I've watched a lot of Animal Planet and Discovery Channel. So okay. Yeah, that type of thing really captivated my my attention early on. All right, and then so on top of that, you so you said you had been doing art, but then you didn't start doing animation until this year. So what prompted the yeah. move into doing animation? Um, I think it was it was kind of a natural progression because I always like um drawing up simple comics and stuff like that. So um when so basically, this is just comics that move. So, I mean, that's very cool. So I just had, I had to start doing that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I started out. With, I'm. I started out with some stick figures. Like uh, I'm always drawing stick figures, and 
it the thing that made me make my first um animation actually a friend during during quarantine when we we couldn't go to school a friend a friend sent me a, a voice recording he had of, of of me telling us a story like telling us in the group a story so i had no idea i was being recorded and he sent it to me and they were saying it was hilarious so i was like <laughs> Um, I have nothing better doing right now because there's no school. So what if I try making this into into a, an animation? So I made a stickman animation out of it, and they really liked it. So I started progressing from there. Did you ever did you ever end up posting that that first animation? That um, yes, it, it's it's not on my YouTube channel, but it's on a it's on a um, like a meme group that my friends and I have. Okay. It's still there. It's still there. Well, it, and I ask that just because that is the style that you end up ended up doing. Like your cartoons are very much you telling a story. Like every single one of them, which is really yes, impressive. It's is I it, the stories that you have and the way that you orchestrate them, which I want to ask you more about. But it reminds me of uh, when I first saw it. You contacted me. You you saw one of my cartoons that I believe that I posted yes. online, and you contacted me and go, "Hey, check mine out." And I did, and I went and looked. And I started watching it, and at first glance, uh, it reminded me of uh, cartoons from like back in like 2003, like when you when like Newgrounds was like the new place to post your web cartoons before YouTube. And it reminded me of the cartoons which I loved. I loved those, and all of them were very story based and personal. And yours is like it's like a vlog, but it's an animated vlog, and it's. Yes. I love that. It's it's actually never thought of it like that because the thing is I I really enjoy telling stories but I'm kind of shy in front of camera so the like the animating part of it like fills in that part. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, cuz yeah, they're, they're all very personal. They're all like experiences that you've had like uh uh, oddly enough, the first one that you posted was about you trying to do animation. And the first thing that you did was with uh, using Blender and trying to do 3D animation. Because much yeah. like everybody, you think you're going to learn Blender and all of a sudden you're going to be making Disney and Pixar movies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. So, yeah, this, it does just things like that. Um, just realizations. Yeah. Yeah. So what did you ever end up uh, figuring Blender out? No, um, I still haven't gone back to it actually because, like, the the more I started focusing on on the two D, I've been um progressing and getting better, so it's just less time to go back to that. But um, I will, I'm sure I will get back to it eventually. Well, because I've been actually using it, like they they have grease pencil now, which actually is their two D animation thing that they've oh, yes, they've uh, built into it. I actually started using it, and um, after. It does. It there is a little bit of a of a hurdle figuring it out, but uh, once I figured it out, I was like, "Oh, this is pretty nifty," because it still has like the three D things that you can do, but you can apply yeah. it like the rest of the time you can do it as two D animation. So it's kind of fun. Yeah, I watched YouTube videos about it, so it's bit so um, the grease pencil is basically you're making a two D animation with three D tools available. So yeah, I think that's really cool. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. I don't mind it. But what 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 are you animating with? What are, how are you making your cartoons? Right now, I I actually never had a dry um a drawing tablet, so I I I use I use my phone and my fingers because I don't even like the stylus. The stylus doesn't doesn't feel natural. Really? Are yes, you? I want, I tried yeah. doing that and I could. It, it was so frustrating for me. Okay, so so what program are you using on your phone to do them? Are you drawing them and then importing them into something? Like how how are you making no, them? I'm, I'm drawing them on the the app is Flipper Clip, so I'm I'm drawing them yeah. on onto that. Yeah. I've used that too. So do you have? You must have the pro version because the uh, free version only lets you do like six seconds or something like that, and you're doing like yeah. twenty minute videos. Yeah, the yeah the I'm using the the pro version. But okay. to be honest, the only reason I got the pro version was, was because of the watermark. Like, other than the <laughs> watermark, I I really had no other problem with it. Yeah, no, I've I've used it too. I actually uh, I, I made a bunch of gifts and put them together as a video. But I yeah. never would have guessed that you were using Flip a Clip. That's amazing. Yeah people, yeah, people are usually surprised because like if someone sees my animation, they're like, ah, it's okay. But when they realize that I'm using my phone and, and my hands to make it, they're like. 
what well, that's amazing that's amazing it is so, yeah. no that's super impressive i really like that and, and, and flip a clip is one of those things that i keep going back to like i'll forget about it and then i'll be sitting there and look at my phone or I'm bored and I'm waiting for something. I'm like, Oh, I'm going to do a quick animation. And I do it. And it's yeah. like, God, this is a really I'm, good program. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, the, the reason I, 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 I fell in love with it was because it reminds me of the first, um, like my, my first introduction to animation overall was, was an app that was on a Nintendo. I had a few years ago. Um, its name was flip note. It's very similar to flip a clip. So when I started using it, it, it brought me back to that time. So, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I didn't Nintendo know about that was one. actually the first time I animated. Actually, when was that? When I was probably in the fourth grade when I got that. Okay. So yeah, and my it, I got it from my uncle. Um, he he lives in England. So when he was when he was coming back to Jamaica, um, with the Nintendo, he the the set the stylus fell out on the plane or something like that so i never got it with a stylus so ever since i got it i was animating with my with my hands so i guess that's where um like i just never got used to using a stylus okay yeah because that's another thing i wanted to know like it, so you're drawing with your finger on the phone which I, I have no problem with i know a lot of people like they just can't draw with their finger which i'm like it's it's literally just the a pencil is just an extension of your finger when you're drawing like why is it so hard to draw with a finger but you know to each their own but yeah. have you ever tried doing it on a, a tablet with a stylus like one where it actually is like drawing with a pencil yeah i have tried it but it, it's slower like it's not hard about it it's slower i get what you mean yeah. yeah sometimes it's not as responsive like you're like drawing in real time Yes, sir. Yeah, I've actually had a couple of conversations with people that have said that. I guess I've never either I've gotten used to it and I don't notice it or maybe I just got lucky and got a tablet that's a little bit faster, but I've never I've never run into yeah. that problem. Huh. I think it comes with with time as well. So the longer you use it, I think that will just make up for the time. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. And then, so the first one that you did started out as they sent you an audio. So they already had the audio for you and you animated it, which I think is brilliant. Like what made you go like, I'm going to animate this. First of all, what made you decide well, to do that? They were saying it was funny and I listened to it and I'm like, well, maybe I am kind of funny. And they were laughed because that, I think that's like the purest form of the story time animation because on YouTube, we're all um, like actually thinking about the story that happened scripting it out and and recording it but on that there was no scripting or anything that was just me with a group of friends telling a story that happened so yeah and you said story time animation is that like an actual genre of yeah that's that's like what what they call that's like what they call this specific niche of animation story time animations really i never heard of that that's yeah. interesting how did you discover that that um the first YouTubers I saw that did that to someone called Suzy. Okay. Yeah, so he started I think he's the first person to do it and after that a lot of people fell in love with it and started doing it as well. So now it's a whole like it's a whole community of, of story time animators. It makes sense. And like I said, watching yours when I first watched it, I I didn't know if it was just gonna be like the like you said, you did the stick figure one and what people used to do is they just did stick figures and it was like elaborate fight moves and then yeah. they would get all all bloody. And I didn't know if that's like I when I when you first sent me to your animations, I'm like, is that what this is gonna be? Like all of a sudden it's gonna be karate chop and then somebody gets their head cut off. And it was like, no, oh, okay. these are fascinating. <laughs> So you did that, you animated it, like when you, when you did it, did you just picture it in your head? Cause uh, I, I'm curious if you ever ended up storyboarding them first, or if you just kind of wing it um, and just kind of draw it as you go along. Yeah. Most of the time I wing it. Like, okay. I will, sometimes I will, I will like draw, draw the scene in a notebook. If it's like, if it's not really coming together in my head properly, so I'll okay. try to draw it out on, on a book. But yeah, most of the times I'm just drawing it on, on there. Okay. And so that first one that you did, that was already sent to you. The audio was set up. Now you've got the other ones that you produced since then. And on top of, okay, you're doing the, you're doing the animation on flip a clip on your phone, but the audio that you have, you started adding in sound effects. You're actually writing out a storyline. Like, are you writing these, first of all, are you writing the scripts yourself or are you just recording 
yourself? No, I'm, I'm, ri- I'm writing the scripts. Okay. To be honest, the script writing is my favorite part of the entire process. Yeah. I've always, I've always been very good at very good at writing. So I really like write. Right now, I I have I think maybe three stories already scripted out. Okay. Ready to. Yeah. So, I, it's just it's just the time to animate. Really, I, I already like the writing part. Is that's that's nothing. Yeah, and I, I was I was assuming that's that's what it was is that you were writing a script because it really have they have an arc they kind of have like a thing happens they have the it's the classic story tale of person is doing something runs into conflict and then kind of resolves sometimes <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes exactly yeah <laughs> but I like that okay so you're doing that and then now how are you recording it once you write the script because you have editing over layering you're doing voices sometimes you're adding sound effects uh, yes. how, how are you editing the audio um, the audio part the audio part is my least favorite part of the process you're very good at it though <laughs> well <laughs> Personally, I don't have a good microphone, so a lot of times I'm having to record on my phone, which um, sometimes I have to say like one line five or six times for it to sound right. And after I finish like vo- voicing the entire story, then I have to go back and um, like listen it to see, okay, there's too much sp- um, break here, so I have to bring this part together and whatever. Then I have to go back through again to put the sound effects in. And you know some some of them are louder than others, so I have to right. work with the volumes and stuff. Yeah, I will say that there was one where I was listening to one of your cartoons and a sound effect all of a sudden, it, like it scared me. Like it was so <laughs> loud, I jumped yes, and I was like, "What yes, the heck so- was that?" It was it was actually the three D animation one where you have the person throwing the basketball in the hoop. The yeah, that- the net that one was really loud. <laughs> yes, yeah, so yeah. I'm- yeah, I'm, I'm I'm working on it as I go along. So yeah, right. So yeah. you're recording you're recording that on your phone, but how? Where are you editing the audio? Like, what program are you using to edit the audio? No, on, on the same thing. I don't have a different um audio editing software. I'm I'm doing it all on there. You're you're just doing it like it, kind of the way when you used to get a, a video camera and you would kind of edit in the camera. You're just editing it as you record it on the phone. Yes, I'm editing it. Yeah, I rec- uh, I record right on Flipper Clip and and edit the sound right there. Wow, man, that's that's very. It, again, that's one of those things where it's like I was already impressed by your auditing, uh, your audio editing abilities, and you're just kind of doing it in the program itself as you go along, recording it on your. This is amazing. That's uh, okay. So the trial and error of this. How long did it take you when you first started? to do uh, the, like the first animation that you did? How long? I mean, you spent so much time being confused by Blender and then you figured this all out. So how, <laughs> um, clearly you actually have a tolerance for trying to learn this stuff. <laughs> yeah, so I, I spent quite a lot of time in um, late last year because I remember clearly Christmas last year, I, I was just being on Blender, trying to make the donut, trying to do this, right. trying to do that. Yeah, so my first animation was January of this year. So that that was pretty much the time I decided to put um give Blender a break and and go to and go because since since quarantine last year I've had it in mind to start the YouTube channel. So when January came around, I'm like, okay, now no is the time. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's really cool. It's. All very impressive. So, what are you? What are you planning to do with? You started the uh, YouTube channel, and you started doing the videos. Um, like, what? What are your plans for what you're doing? I mean, you're making them, and I, I mean, you. I, I know that you're definitely doing the outreach. I mean, you contacted me. You saw. Yes, sir. I, you have. I mean, you have more subscribers than I do. So, <laughs> or at least last <laughs> I checked, I think you do. <laughs> so, yeah. how how are you finding people? How are you reaching out to people? Um, mostly mostly through through groups and through persons who do the sim- do similar things because there there are there are tons of small story time animators out there yeah so like on facebook groups for for example i'll see someone do something i'm like that's pretty cool and he'll see what i do and we connect from there um i've done one col- collaboration so far that that was with that was with someone from all the way in Thailand. Really? He was just doing really cool stuff and 
and we kind of connected and yeah. What did so you do? We we um collaborated on two um things I hate about school um videos. So he he did part of the animation for that and he did um some of the voice work as well. He's I think he's an awesome vo- voice uh, voice actor actually. So that was yeah. that was the the things I hate about school that you have on your on your YouTube channel. Yes, sir. Oh wow! I didn't know that. That's really cool. So how did yeah. you collaborate? How were how were you able to do that? How were you sharing files and and going back and forth? We weren't sharing files. It was like I basically wrote like wrote out the script, sent sent him his lines, and I'm like, okay. So for this part, I'm like setting the scene for him to know like how he's supposed to sound for this like and he i mean he's just he just he's better than i am at, at the voice at the voice acting part like by far so he made it really easy okay yeah and he's he's awesome at, at animating too but his problem is he can't make um like long animations he will do something like mind-blowing but for six seconds he he doesn't have the patience for it okay so so collaborating helps us both because he can sit through the long process and I really <laughs> like his skills. So, yeah. Yeah. Cause yours have a good slow, I mean, not slow, but a good steady pace to them, but they yeah. still, they still work out. They're never too long. Just like you said, some, you listen back to them and you'll like, go, oh, that part's too long. There's too long of a pause or yeah. whatever, but you don't, you don't storyboard them or anything. That's amazing. Oh. Yeah. But a lot of people, a lot, a lot of um none of my my videos are 10 minutes as yet and i thought about it before and i'm like am i leaving out details so my stories are shorter than they are but when i look back at it i'm like if i add more then it will just make it drawn out so maybe there i just haven't told a story that that should be 10 minutes yeah yeah like i've yeah. watched so many series like superhero series uh where they have 13 episodes when it really could have been five episodes. They just have yeah. all that, those stories in between where it's like, all right, here's some B subplot that we're going to spend two, two episodes on. And it's like, why? Just because yeah, you exactly. needed 13 episodes? <laughs> exactly. And, and three episodes of just one fight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Although the fighting ones are pretty good, but um, yeah. okay. So back to the groups, like I've joined, so I've joined some groups and I've talked to uh, for things that I'm interested in. And I've talked to other people who have made connections in these groups. Maybe I'm just using them wrong, but I feel like whenever I go to the groups, first of all, I never really know what to say. And second, it just kind of seems like I I never run into people who are showing what they do. They just kind of somebody will ask a question and everybody else will just quickly say, well, you do it this way. And it kind of seems like they're I don't know. I feel like people would just think I'm an idiot if I bring something up on a group. Maybe it's just my own problem. Um, so is, how are you when you join these groups? Like, I, it seems a lot more interactive. How are you interacting yeah, with these people? I think, I think it's just the communities. Some communities are I guess some communities just have nicer people because yeah. there are some groups that you will enter and you will like ask a question or just say say what's up and you just see comments coming in of person sending you a link to their videos for no reason at all. Like, yeah. So I'm like, yeah. So I guess it's, it's just the people you, you encounter. Really. Okay. So it, I'm probably just in the wrong ones then is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. It, it, yeah. And, and really it's just, I also just never know what to say. I, I join them going like, oh, I'm going to learn some stuff. And then I end up just searching on YouTube anyway. So what, what YouTube yeah. videos like uh, you didn't. So when you first started using a uh, flip a clip, you didn't just open it and it's like, all right, now I'm making animations. Like were there things that you watched or followed or uh how did you how did you learn how to use it like who were some of the people that influenced you to create uh, um, to make these to be honest i i haven't watched a lot of videos come on I, really no <laughs> I, i've watched a lot of i've watched a lot of uh, animators story time animators but yeah not a lot of them use flipper clip most of them are adobe animate and yeah tune tune boom harmony and those stuff so you there are aren't a lot of flipper clip story time animators so yeah so most of what i do uh, if you watch like my er my first video and my most recent video you can you can see the the huge difference so yeah but that's only over a period of months <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's so it's, what I'm it's, saying. Really just, it's really just me deciding that i i want to get better at this or i'll, I'll watch my my most recent video and i'm like 
okay, the but the background here is trash, so I'll, <laughs> I'll I'll make sure that the next video I make the backgrounds are good. And is yeah, it's, you just have to look at what you do and and decide that this this is subpar and and work on it. Yeah. Have you ever thought about? Because um, I know that you can do this, but have you ever thought about doing an actual image as the background, like you draw something physically? and then take a picture of it and then use that as the background? Yeah, I think I've I think I've done that once. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. You didn't care for it though? No, not really. <laughs> I get that. It's it, it, I I only bring that up just because I've done that in the past because that's what like if I'm watching the Flintstones or Scooby Doo or something. I mean, those backgrounds are all like painted backgrounds. Of course, they were done by background artists who like were actual painters. So it's, yeah. it's tough. Um. <laughs> yeah, most, um, I think what, I, what I've done that's similar to that, um, in Family Guy has some really cool, like their, their trees look really nice. So right. I've, I've realized that and I've screenshot the trees and I've just started drawing out like oh, yeah. how they draw their trees. Yeah. 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 So it's stuff like that. Who are some of your uh, animation influences? Okay, so I just mentioned Family Guy, so right. Seth MacFarlane. Um, um, there's another YouTube animator. He's really big right now. Um, young is his name on YouTube is Young Dan the Sauce Guy. Yeah, he's okay. also Jam yeah he's also Jamaican. He's he does real like he does really awesome animations, and yeah, so he's one of the main influences. And as I, I mentioned, Susie before, yeah. So Su yeah. So I think Susie um, is just like a universal inspiration to everyone that does it. Okay. And early yeah. early on, when you started out, you said you were drawing comics, and that kind of was how you got into anima animation. What kind of comics were you drawing when you first started out? Um, just random things, really. Like, I like if I was to look back in some of my my old old books like i would sometimes i would draw i would draw like songs like the word like the lyrics of songs i would like hear the songs and and draw my interpretation of it yeah yeah just stuff like that oh wow yeah. i like that and you still have those yeah if i if i if i look far enough i'm sure i'll find some okay all right i'd be interested to see what those are there's i'm sure that it's one of those things where it's like they could be really cool or they could be super embarrassing for you. I don't know. <laughs> and the characters, yeah. the other thing that I kind of um, saw from, from looking at your cartoons were um, I want to say they also kind of have a animated Dilbert sort of thing going um, on. Have you ever seen the Dilbert animation back when he had a cartoon? No, I'm not. I'm not sure. Okay, and it could be completely accidental. That's where I'm like, yeah, it probably isn't. But it's, but, um, it's in terms of like style. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, I would even say, like the main character that you are kind of reminds me of Dilbert in in I'll, the drawing style. I'll have to look for it because when when I was up, when I was um, planning on making my first animation, um, I was I was like I had the dilemma of like thinking about how will I make them look yeah but I didn't I didn't want them to look like everyone else's um character I want pretty much like I want if you've seen one of my animations before if you see a character anywhere in the world you'll know that I'm like you know that that's mine I wanted that kind of thing so yeah. I spent a while just drawing characters drawing characters and I land I landed on that because as you can see they they're just um the thing, the thing I noticed too that I I really didn't notice until I look back on the earlier animations. Their shape, like their body shape, changed over the few months that I was doing it. Oh that, yeah, that was that wasn't a conscious decision. I guess that was just my subconscious saying, okay, the the neck looks weird here, and I just um, smoothed it out over time. Yeah. No, that yeah. definitely happens. I mean, I've been drawing the same web comic since 2017, and the characters look nothing like when I first started out. Yeah. It's even even like the different brush stroke brush stroke uh, tools that I use for the the web comic. Like 
all of that's changed. So it's, yeah. it's, it's definitely something that happens. I mean, look at Garfield from the very first comic strip yeah. to the way that Garfield's drawn. Now he didn't used to walk on his hind legs and he's, he's yeah. much more stylistic. Now he used to just be a big lump. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, so I guess that's just natural artist progression. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. And speaking of progression, you're putting these out like once a month right now, too. You're doing it very regularly. Like, is that the timeline yeah. that you're shooting for? Um, I want like when someone I feel is is a very long time for for one video. But the thing is, I don't want to, to rush it and make it. I don't want to sacrifice the quality. So if it takes one month or more than one month, then I, I just I just have okay. to work with it. All right. So you're not like going, I have to, you're not doing like uh, South Park and going, this has to be done in a week because it's no, going I, live on air. <laughs> I can't do that because if I do that, when the week comes and I have, I'll just start looking at things and I'm like, no, it makes no, like it just doesn't make any sense to sacrifice something that you clearly see right now. That's not good. Okay. Yeah. Because when you make a YouTube video, that's, it's not like something that's going to be there for a month. It's something that will be there forever unless you take it down. So, right. And I'm not really trying to make work that I want to take down because that's time. So it makes sense to just put, put in the time. now. Yeah. No, agreed. It's a very valid point. And so what are you planning to do with, or how, how, I don't know if I asked, if I asked this or if I changed my mind while I was asking you and started asking something else, how are you promoting yourself and what are your plans for what you want to do with the channel? Like, is there any um, big plan? Like what's your promotion strategy? I don't really have any particular plan like that. I want to get here or get here. I don't, I'm just I'm really just enjoying it as I go along and, and meeting new artists because I think that is the promotional strategy. Like if you look in the comments of my videos, you see other artists yeah. in there um telling um congratulating me on the progress and whatever. So yes, during this process I've met so many artists around the world. So yeah, I think just just reaching out to an, another artist and telling them that their work is great and I mean if you really like their work and you tell them something about their work because people know people know um fake compliments you know mm. so like if you tell someone like the, um i really like the eyes that you do on on your drawings like they know they're putting a lot of work in the eyes so when you tell them that they yeah they'll appreciate that more and they'll be more susceptible to um hear what you have to say and yeah yeah, not just uh hey this is great. Uh yeah. Or yeah. No, I'm trying to think of I get those all the time and I'm trying to think of one in particular but I delete them so quickly cuz a lot of them are the ones where they just put in a compliment so they could put in that weird yeah. link to like some sort of, you know, like r dot .ru address or like that that weird little hack that they have on the comments where people when they write something yeah. it lets them put in a link. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Sorry. I'm thinking about it right now. Cause I already, I've released one of the podcasts today and like, basically I have to wait a few minutes because then I have to go, okay, now I have to delete all the spam comments. And so, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm just thinking about it right now. And you have a, you started your Instagram channel, which um, is how you contacted me, but you haven't posted anything on it yet. How come? Yeah. The thing is I, I haven't, I've never really used Instagram a lot to be honest. Oh, really? So, yeah. Yeah, when I'm when I'm on Instagram, I'm definitely like either talking to because I I, I lost my phone actually. So which was I'm, one of your cartoons. <laughs> yeah, so I'm I'm used. So since I've lost my phone, I've 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 used Instagram a lot more to um, communicate with friends. Um, but other than that, before the only time I've ever used Instagram was just to look at other artwork and be inspired. Yeah. Yeah. Which I mean is very valid, uh, which is absolutely what you can do. Just because you're on there doesn't mean that you have to put stuff on there, you know. Yeah. But they have, you know, that they did make it so that you can actually upload long form videos now. Like I believe up to sixty minutes on on Instagram itself. Like they got rid of the IGTV oh. thing, and now you can actually post a video, which was like the video that you saw of mine, the cartoon that I did. I was just oh, able to upload, but you have to do it from a, you have to do it from a laptop, right? Oh no, you can do it from your phone. 
Oh, I, I yeah. Did, like I, I saw the videos, but I, I really didn't know like what, what exactly was going on. Yeah, you can, you can actually post uh, long form videos on YouTube now. They switched it over so that you're able to do that. So I would just wanted to let you know that you can actually post your cartoons on Instagram okay, now. So I'll definitely start um putting clips on there then that's what i thought yeah and i was wondering because i was like at the very least you could do like still shots of your of your cartoons or yeah. something because they're in your cartoons you start off with the uh what do you call that when you show like an exciting um, segment right in the beginning of something yeah, that's just, like later on yeah just a small preview yeah yeah because the reason that i do that actually is i like it I'm terrible. I'm terrible at starting at starting the videos. Like I, I never, I never really know what to say when I, I don't know if I'm supposed to like come on and say, "Hey, what's up, guys?" or 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 right. do I just get straight into the story? Yeah. So I, I find that just showing a preview, um, doing the intro, then getting in the story that. That works. That works really well. It, it was it's subtle too because let me put it to you this way: when I first started watching them, I got two I got two episodes into what you had up there, and yeah. by the time the second one came up, I was halfway through and I'm like, wait, did I see this already? And then I realized it was the clip that was at the very beginning. Like it didn't even occur yeah. to me that I was seeing a clip from later on. So when I saw it, I'm like, why do I recognize this part? Um, so so I didn't even realize it, and that yeah. made me uh, think of. Your intro song, your your, <laughs> what is that all about? <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, just I think about um, maybe three or four days ago, someone like a friend that I'm another artist. Um, she lives in Romania. Okay, she she was, she was asking me like, please can you write out the the lyrics to to the intro and outro of the video? I, I have no idea what what's going on. So that's. <laughs> That's actually a song that a friend of mine made. Yeah. Okay. So a friend of a friend of mine makes makes like songs and stuff. And that one that one was that obviously that one wasn't really serious work. So he just he right. just really he just went along with the flow with that video with uh, with that song. But I really like I really liked how it sounds. So I'm like, this is exciting. This this could be this could be an intro. But it's so, just yeah. it's just so out of left field. It's like it's it, yeah, uh, I, I'm forgetting the actual words off the top of my head, but it's sing, like sh sing. shoes from France or something. <laughs> no, um, he's talking Patwa, Jamaican Creole. Yeah, he's singing in Jamaican Creole. But okay. like, really, like the words, the words, the words really mean nothing. He's just like singing that he has expensive shoes, and it's just. Yeah, it's just it's just random words, but it sounds good. It sounds good. So, but is this his song, or is this just a, another recording you did on your phone of his song, or no? That's that's his song. He it said, is. It is. Yeah, he sent he sent me his song. Okay. Yeah, and I I really liked it, so I just I just chopped out two sections of it that I gotcha. really like. Okay. Make, yeah, make one the intro, make one the outro. Okay. Yeah. All right. And the outro, the outro, I didn't when I was making that. I I didn't even have um like intentions of making it the outro. Um, in the outro, he said something about a G wagon. So I had nothing to do. So I was just drawing my character in a G wagon, and I was thinking about it. I'm like, this could be a really nice way to close the videos. Yeah. So I, I yeah. So I just I just went along with it. I like it. Yeah. No, I, I, it's, I, I find that very enjoyable. I, it, so tell your friend, I, I definitely like the song. Um, <laughs> and with the stuff that you're animating too, uh, there are segments where I want to say you have, re, uh, which is, you know, efficient using reusable parts from other animations or at least reusable scenes. Yeah. Like there's the scene where you're sitting on the chair uh, telling yeah, a story. So, yeah. So, um, uh, I started out making them on my phone, as I said. So, mm -hmm. on certain on certain parts, there are when there is not really anything that you want to show or that there that you could show. See, I just basically cut back to my um, character, just like saying a few words or something like that. But um, when I lost my, because the thing with with flipper clip, when you when you lose it, you can't like transfer projects to another device or that's something why i wanted like to that. ask you yeah yeah so when i lost the phone i 
um, I started using my, my mom's tablet and I, I basically drew another another thing with the with my character sitting in the chair with a piece of the Jamaica flag over his yeah. over his head and, and thing, yeah. Yeah. And then you had the picture of someone on the right. I wasn't quite sure who yeah. that was. Oh so so that's an artist I really like. That's Juice World. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, so that, yeah. name, that name actually sounds familiar. Yeah, he passed away uh, probably like two years, two okay. years ago. I think. Yeah, so he just an, an artist that I really like. Yeah. Okay. And so going back to the reusable uh, things, the other thing, I mean, as as well as you can't just back up, like Flip Clip doesn't have a way like, or a cloud backup or anything like that, like you were saying, but how are you, when you make new animations, how are you reusing some of the scenes? Like I, me personally, I'd like to know, like, how are you, I would yeah. love to do that. Like you have a drawing and you're like, okay, okay I so need this scene. How are you importing it? After the thing is, after I, I make a video, I don't, I don't touch um anything in Flip Clip until I upload the video. And after it's uploaded, then I go back into it and I just delete. I just think about frames that I think would be cool to use sometime in the future, and I just delete everything else. So pretty much every video I make, the I guess the cache, the cache you'd you'd say gets gets longer because there are just more frames okay. in in the end of it. Yeah. So when I make when I when I like export when I export um the video in the end there are just like pages of just random drawings and stuff so I just cut that off. Oh, so in like post like in a video editor you cut those out or like in the YouTube video editor or something like that. Yes, yeah. So uh, after I export, then I just cut that cut those off off of the end. Okay. All right. No, that makes sense. It's it's uh that's crazy, but that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. And the intro and outro are, are are videos that I have on my laptop. So after I after I make the 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 animation itself, then I just put those on it in in the editor. Yeah. And did you lose yeah. your laptop recently too? Like, do you have a video of losing your phone and your laptop? No, I I only lost my phone. The laptop okay, it was is, just the phone. I was is, yeah, the laptop is what's keeping me afloat at the moment. All right, okay, okay, yeah. good. It's I I realized that now. I was like, wait, was it that you lost your phone, but you still have your laptop, or did you lose your phone and your laptop? So it sounds like, okay, good. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that you didn't lose both. Happy about that. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, just basically, I wanted to ask. Um, what other plans do you have coming up, or like what things are you working on, or is there anything? that's uh oh. that you'd like to mention that we haven't talked about so um i've just been just been focusing on making more stories as i said i have some scripts al already written out so it's just because i have school focusing on as well so it's just really just to have the time to animate them yeah yeah <laughs> yeah and i i what i'm i've been thinking about um like other animated videos outside of story time animating like those just random stuff. How how to do a class presentation? Or just just oh. stuff out. Yeah, just stuff outside of like personal stories. Yeah, I never yeah. even thought to ask like what other types of animations would you like to make. I just have been going by this because eventually you're gonna run out. Of, well, I guess you wouldn't run out of stories. Life keeps going. Yeah. Stories extend. But yeah, what other types of animation would you like to yeah, do? So, yeah. So does just um. I don't know what 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 exactly we call those tutorial animations. Okay. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. yeah. So just yeah. So just basically just giving pointers to someone on how to do stuff um, with a bit of humor, of course. Like yeah. any kind, like be hired by someone to make these animations, or like you want to make your own tutorials for things you know how to do. Yeah. Yeah, I plan to make my own animations. Yeah. Okay. And about yeah, animation, yeah. or are you going to do them about biology, or? Actually, you could do that, couldn't you? You could do, you could totally yeah, do biology could. ones. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I probably could do that. Yeah, huh. I haven't thought much into merging the two, but yeah, it's it seems very viable. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if anything, you could use it for hell. You could use it for school. Yeah, I did. I did actually make. Um, I did make a, a, an anim, a, an animation for for school. Um, in the last few months of high school, I had a. I had a group presentation to do and my friends were like, why not make, why not make it an animation? Because yeah. 
everyone's just going to come with another boring PowerPoint. So why, why not <laughs> it? I'm like, yeah, that's true. We should admit it. So I did admit the video and it, it turned out pretty decently. But when it was time to actually present, because that was that was um, COVID, so that was um, mm. online school, and it was time to actually present it to the class, the audio just was not working at oh, no. all. So, <laughs> yeah, it ter- <laughs> turned out to be a complete fail. But, yeah, I enjoyed it anyways. What was the, what was the animation about? That was about... Um, we all had different topics to talk about and our group got something about like cryo freezing. So that's like um Oh okay. yeah, wow. yeah, yeah um <laughs> yeah preserving yeah pres- preserving genes for another generation and stuff. Damn yeah, stuff like that. Wow, that's really cool. I don't I don't know how I would animate that, although you know more about it than I do probably. So my the only thing I can think of is yeah, I'd just show a frozen person. That's that's about the extent of what I know about it. <laughs> or I just yeah, show so, an episode of Futurama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would have been a lot more time efficient, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And then, so if people wanted to learn more about uh, your cartoons or see what you do, where would you uh, suggest that they go to? Yeah, so um, I'm. it's mostly just um youtube and instagram so even though I, I don't have any posts on instagram yet i'm still i'm still there so if they contact me they'll they'll be able to to talk to me and stuff because i really like talking to other to other artists not just animators just just people that do do things really i just like talking talking to people that that because i find that i'm 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 inspired mostly by people that are passionate about something it doesn't like most of the time it has nothing to do with animation or or arts at all but just if i see someone very passionate about their own thing because i watch a lot of cooking shows and i think <laughs> it's for that same reason because <laughs> yeah i i've watched so many cooking shows and uh, the reason i watch it is not really because i i want to cook those stuff even though i have tried some of them but that's mm-hmm. the main reason I watch it because I they they're usually just so passionate about what they do. Because yeah. you will see how heated they get in the kitchen and whenever something goes wrong and that whole like you just see the pure passion of it. And I'm like, yeah, that, yeah, that's very inspiring. That's true. That there aren't a lot of shows that show that uh particular side of it. There's like, you know, house building shows, they're building a house they're into it but they don't show the reason why they build these houses or what yeah. inspires them to do it whereas cooking they have the whole segment where they're like why are you cooking yeah. and yeah, then they play like the heartfelt there, there music shows, yeah there are shows even about the the chef's um personal story and i find those to be very inspiring too huh even they're yeah they're barely showing like them actually cooking just where they came from and why how they ended up in culinary school or whatever and i really i really like those because I think I think it's similar in a way where you you work on this animation for a whole month and you put it out to the world and now you're just waiting. So it's I think it's similar to when yeah. they they're in the kitchen go going hard at it and I mean they they just come out and present you this plate. They're basically presenting your piece of their soul. So yeah, right. I think it's very similar. And you are right about the timeline too. And speaking of like you like family guy, I remember, remember when they killed off Brian and they brought in yeah. the other dog and then they yeah. got rid of it like two episodes later and online I was seeing people going cause people hated it. And it's like, do you understand how animation works? This was created a year ago. Nobody saw this. Like this was, <laughs> they only did it for two episodes because that was yeah. just what they were doing. It's, they didn't go, okay, let's quickly animate the yeah. thing for next week without, you know, with Brian back. Yeah. And the thing <laughs> The thing I, f- I found really funny about that, um, like a few seasons down, um, Seth MacFarlane made made like two episodes where, where he didn't include Brian in, in, in the storyline at all. And mm-hmm. he pretty much just said, remember how, how you were all acting when Brian wasn't in, wasn't in those two episodes when he died. <laughs> right. And now I'm sure you didn't miss him at all. So, yeah. yeah. So that's one of the main reasons he's such an inspiration. He does, he does that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> 
And do you have any plans to uh, make a website or anything like that for your cartoons in the future or just um, YouTube? I would. Um, I don't really know much about that right now, but I, I definitely Valid. would. The, yeah, it's yeah. you're not expected to know everything about the internet yeah. <laughs> or how to yeah, make them. Just, I mean, you can know things yeah, about the internet, but building websites, yeah. yeah. No, that's yeah. a good point. And then uh, just so people know, uh, you are going by uh, I am Craig Hutchinson on yes, uh, YouTube and Instagram. Yes, sir. And that's where they can find you. Well, I want to thank you so much for talking with me today. I'm glad that you reached out to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I did too.